Hello everyone, I'm Fry from MMO Bugs coming from you today from the sunny Butchery Block Mountains. This video is going to give you a quick rundown of the most commonly used features of MQ2 move utilities. For starters, we're going to go with the stick command. This is the most commonly used command by most people. We click, we type slash stick, and off we run to this decaying dwarf skeleton, and we're following him around. Now, if we stuck our attack on, should in theory attack it, but it's not going to because the stick uh, radius is too big. So we're going to go slash stick status and see what the default settings are. You can see the default distance is 16.63 up the top here. That's way too big for my little gnome. So let's go stick 10. And this is going to get into better range. And hey, hey, we hit him. And let's see if my little level 1 dwarf can kill him. Oh, it's level 2, sorry, because this is a blue con. Oh, that's running away, and the stick command's going to follow him. Now, for um, a gnome, stick 10 s seems to be a little even too big. Let's try one of these goblins, and we'll do stick 5. We'll stick on our auto attack. And let's see how that goes. There we go, we're right up in his face today. And we'll wait till he gets killed. And voila, we got some more experience. Now we got some more commands for the stick. We can go stick behind. This will run up to him and then go behind him. And this is going to be, we'll go stick status. See, its distance is 16.83 as default. It's, it's normally about 16 as default. And that's kind of too big for us because we're just a tiny little gnome. Let's do stick behind 5. And then we'll turn auto attack on. This should be interesting to see how this goes because it's just going to keep trying to go behind him. Look at that. Is it going to make us seasick? Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, let's let's try something something different. Um, let's do stick front five, and this will stay in front of him at all times. Oh, now he's running away. I'm not sure how stick handles this on front. Oh, looks like it's doing okay. And we've got aggro. Oh, oh we've got a nice train of goblins. <laughs> Alright, let's break the stick and let's run to the guards because my level 2 gnome can't handle this many goblins. Help me! Help me! Help me! <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of the goblin train. Um, stick is also useful for following group members. It's better than the default following command, so we type stick uh, to our group leader, get all five of our characters in the group to stick them to the leader, and then just run our leader around. And then if we go too fast or go over some hills, in theory we shouldn't get lost compared to the EverQuest follow command where it just gives up if you're too far away. Uh, another useful feature for the stick command is slash stick underwater, and that will help you with uh, changing your uh, vertical uh, looking when you got it on so we can see it's, it's kind of looking upwards when I'm attacking the skunk compared to if I do stick 5 without the underwater thing oops it's not going to mess with my view let's just stick underwater again and watch it look up in theory oh, might have a couple spell it right stick underwater, there we go. It will do vertical distance. And you know what? I don't think I can kill the skunk. Oh, it's gonna be close. Got myself some skunk spray. Uh, another command for MQ2 move utilities is the pin command. I think I'm gonna run this to the guards. Should I or shouldn't I? Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go to the guards. Because if I die, I'm going back to Plane of Knowledge, and I really don't want to run back here. Oh, and the skunk is running away, of course. Let's just stick underwater on him. Stick five. Okay. Maybe even a stick two for stuff running away. See, I'm right on. It looks like I'm riding him. Okay. Other commands we're looking at. Let me just heal a bit. We're going to look for the pin command. So we go over here to this guard and we'll go stick pin. And this in theory should go to the side of him. There we go. Let's try it from the other side. We go stick pin. Let's see what side it goes to. Yeah, it goes to the sign. Good for pinning monsters. Uh, another command that's decent. Well, this is really should be default for most people. Is the loose command. So we're going to go stick. We're going to go eight loose. And this will make it more human-like, our stick. It shouldn't look robot-like if we're chasing something. But it's kind of hard to show when something have got multiple people attacking a mob and it's moving around. Um, another command, stick hold. Now this will keep me on my target, even if I change the target. So I've got this guard targeted, and then I'll click back here to this other guard. And it will stay on this, stay on this target no matter what. Compared to if I went st just stick and then I t click this guard over here, it would run to that guard. If I clicked him, it would run over here. Uh, the last command for stick I'm going to run through is the healer command. So say you're a healer, and you don't really need to be facing the person that you're healing. So, but you need to stay in range. So we're going to say. We're going to say stick healer and we'll say 80 range to keep us in range for healing. And it's not actually going to do anything because I'm in 80 range. Let's do stick healer 50. It's going to run me this direction and say I'm here. Stick 50 healer. It's not going to face it. Compared to if I go stick 50, it will face him. So that's good for healers so you don't look like much like a bot. Okay, let's move on to the circle command. Let's type slash circle. Oops, circle on. And by default it's doing a 50 radius circle. Let's do a 10 radius circle. So we're circle on 10. And we'll start one here. That didn't work. Circle 10 on. Circle on 10. There we go. Work that time. And say this is good for soloing. Say we're kiting a mob. I'm not sure why you do it at 10 radius. Let's make it back up to. Let's do it at 80. Circle on 80. And say I need to heal myself. I'm going to heal myself. And it's going to continue. So stop to cast. Then it'll continue. Stop to cast. Continue. This is good for souling, for bars, for doing chants. This is great for druids if you're dot kiting, things like that. That's about it for the circle command. And now we'll go to the move to command. Uh, this is decent for macros. We we'll go move to lock two eight one six negative six. And this will put me over here. Hey, look, there I am. And let's move over to the path. We'll go to negative sixty. Here at the path, and let's mess with it a bit more. We'll go move to location. I'll put in my location here, and then we'll go break on hit on. We'll just break on hit. In theory, it will take me to this location, and if I get hit, it will stop. What else do we have here? I think that's all for move to. Let's move on to the make camp command. So we'll go over here. We'll take make camp on 40. This will make a campsite for our characters and it will have a 40 radius. If I get out of this 40 radius, it will take me back to 
the camp spot if I haven't got a target. So let's clear my target. Let's move out to uh, here and break about 70 radius. And it will take me back to camp. Like that. So maybe we make camp. Let's make it 80. Make camp on 80. We'll move out a bit. And I stop here and I won't take me back to camp because I need that 50 radius out. Let's keep going. We'll go out here. So we break the 80 mark. And it should turn me around and take me back to camp. Like so. It's an extremely useful command that I don't think many people use. It's great for your bots. It's great, f it's great all around command. I, I really love it. And last but not least, well, last but I think definitely least, <laughs> is the root me command. Root me on. This makes it so you can't move no matter what. I uh, keep pushing the arrows and my character won't move. Root me off. Hey, look at that. I can move again. I'm not sure how useful that is. I think the make camp command is better than the root me command. You can just like uh, make camp uh, with a radius of 1 and as soon as you move it would just take you back there anyway. So that's about it for this tutorial. If you've got any questions post them below. I'll see if I can do a follow up, up video. Uh, if you're looking for more information on MQ2 Move Utilities, check out the MMO Bugs Wiki. Just click on the link called MQ2 Move Utilities that is on the front page of MMO Bugs in the MacroQuest 2 status box. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button above. And that's about it. This is Fry signing out. Take care.